Thank you guys so much for writing all of your greetings in the comments down below my last video. If you guys speak a language other than English and are from a foreign country, uh, definitely let me know your greeting and I might say in the next video. But today we are doing a summer accessories haul. I originally planned to do just a general fashion haul, but as you guys can see, I have a bunch of clothes over there to haul. So I thought this would be a super long video, so I'm gonna just split it into two parts. So this first part is just gonna be all that I have right here. If you guys saw this uh, little hat in the intro of my video, um, a couple videos back, it is a Baker Boy hat, and these hats have been pretty on the scene as of lately, and I really, really wanted one, especially after I saw Cassie from To The Nines. Um, I think she thrifted one in her videos, and it looks so good on her. Um, I got this one from ASOS, and I believe it was $24. Um, but the thing about this is I have a very large head. Um, its circumference is huge. I was in marching band in middle school and they had to custom order an extra large Shaco just for my head. Um, so I've had a problem with hats not really fitting me. This one is actually quite tight on me and I had my brother try and stretch it out. Um, but it just sits at the top of my head very tightly. So I was very excited when I got this one from Lack of Color, which is an Australian hat brand and they make amazing quality hats. I've known about the brand for ages and I've always wanted to invest in one. I got this one in a large and it fits me! Ah, oh, I think it looks so cute. I actually even would wear it like this. Even goes to my eyebrows which is crazy. Um, but this was in a navy and if you guys want a cheaper alternative this one is from ASOS and it's black um, but both are beautiful. This one I do have to say is much better quality. It's just got a thicker material and this one is something that I think would actually keep you quite warm in the winter whereas this one is probably like an LA winter which is not very cold at all. As we enter the summer, I'm so excited to wear boater hats and I have two of these from again lack of color and this is just a really cute straw one and I think this actually goes very well with my little red ensemble here. I got them all in larges and they all fit my head perfectly so shout out to lack of color for making hats big enough for people with big heads um, but I really love this one it's just a straw hat with a black ribbon. I got this 100% Australian wool hat and this is also boater hat and it also fits my head. <laughs> um, but yeah, I just love boater hats. I actually think this looks really cute too. Yes, yes. But yeah, those are all from Lack of Color and I just think they would be amazing for the summertime because it is getting quite sunny here in LA. A little fun fact about me, I've pierced my ears two or three times and each time I always let my ears close up. Um, but when I did a chill morning routine, which you guys can watch right up here, I was working with Rachel Zoe's Box of Style. They were sponsoring it and they sent a really cute pair of earrings from Adorn Mon and um, it was for a sponsored video so I was like, you know what, I'm just gonna show these earrings in even if my ears aren't pierced and if they're not pierced we're gonna go get them pierced um, that day because I need to do this video and I love these earrings um, so I went to the bathroom to go shove them in my ear um, to see if my ears were at all pierced um, and I just started screaming and my assistant comes running and she's like what and I'm like mom, mom my ears are still pierced so ever since that video and ever since I found out my ears are still indeed pierced, I have been absolutely enamored by all types of earrings. Um, and so that leads me to this pair of earrings. Yeah, this pair of earrings. And these are actually from Adornmond. Um, I think I've been just shouting them out on social media a lot. So they were kind enough to actually send me a few more pairs. Um, and this one is by far my favorite. It's just got um, gold loops looping over each other and they're very long and dangly. Um, I love geometric uh, shapes. All of my tattoos are geometric inspired. The second pair are these hoops and the first little circle is made of silver and the second hoop is gold. I love the look on these, super industrial, also very geometric, and they're just really minimal and simple. And both of these earrings are quite heavy because I feel like they're made of such good quality. Um, so your ears do kind of get tired after a, a few hours, but it's worth it, girl. It's worth it. <laughs> so as you guys know, I've been wearing that gold little dainty choker from my friend Yannin's collection with Astrid and Miu. And let me just tell you, whenever my blogger friends or influencer friends collab with a brand or company, I'm so excited and so happy for them that I am always rocking their stuff. Like, if I genuinely love the product, I will never take that stuff off. Um, but for this video, I took off that necklace. Um, but you guys know, I've been wearing it all month long. So I picked up actually a few more little gold dainty 
pinky chokers. So the first one is this double layered choker and it's kind of just got a diamond um, little charm or pendant on a bar and then just little crystals all around it. And the second choker I got is another dainty gold choker and this one kind of has uh, little gold metallic coins all over it and it's just super cute. It has a lot, mm, I don't wanna say cute. I don't wanna say cute. <laughs> But it's very, very adorable. I don't know. <laughs> the last necklace I got is this gold safety pin necklace. And it's all diamond encrusted. Obviously, they're not real diamonds. Um, but I just thought this was a cute little accent piece. The next store I want to talk about is En Route. And I picked up some amazing earrings from them. Oh my gosh. Ever since I found out my ears are pierced, I've been going crazy. And this is my first pair from En Route Jewelry. And they're a little shop. It's a little independent shop based in New York City. City, I believe and I love all of their earrings so please please if you guys could check out they also probably gave me a coupon code so if you guys want to shop here it is and this isn't sponsored by them I'm just genuinely so grateful and so appreciative of these beautiful pieces that they sent me on the bottom of my heart if you're a company or especially an independent company that believes in my brand and in me and I love your stuff I am just so genuinely grateful for that um, just because it's kind of like the most beautiful worlds collide the second are these silver balls and they've also got this kind of like flattened gold coin uh, stud to them and my favorite part about these is when you add these to any outfit you look so sophisticated and chic. These earrings to me have somewhat of a beachy vibe. It's just got a gold hoop and then these kind of like to me they look like shells. Um, these circular flattened shells and um, they're just dangling and I wore these in an Instagram post right here. This pair of earrings is very tumbler to me and I hate using that word as an adjective just because it's so vague um, but these are gold and silver baby hoops and they're literally baby hoops because they're small itty bitty and they have the word baby in between them. I have yet to wear these um, but I know exactly what type of look I want to serve with these. I think the last pair of earrings are probably the least my style out of all of them and they're just these really cutesy dangly star wired earrings if you guys can see that and I personally myself don't really like anything star so that's why I don't think um, it's my style but we'll see if and how I rock these. They also do rings so I got this pair of little gold dainty rings and I believe it comes with some mini rings and some like just regular rings. Moving on into lingerie, I have a very unique set of bra and undies I want to show you guys. Um, so this is from The End Lingerie and everything is to me is very... Um, BDSM inspired or just very edgy. So this is the first bralette I have and as you guys can see it looks like uh, there is um, some type of nipple piercing on me. Um, but I love the shape and silhouette of this bralette. It's super thin and super lightweight. Um, it's really great for low cut things like this as well. And I love the nipple detailing right here. It's just kind of got this bar stud through it. And I also have the matching set of underwear which also has a little piercing in the front and I understand that this is not everybody's taste but I'm a huge fan of things that are a little bit unconventional so um, this is like totally up my and this one also has nipple piercings and these are just kind of a U shape and this one is less triangular it's kind of got more of a sports bra feel to it. Last one is probably the wildest one and this is just a white bralette with a circular kind of chest cutout and it also has a horse shaped or a U shaped piercing in the middle and it's ginormous. What I love about all of these bras is that they all have a clasp in the back. So the last thing I picked up are these nude blush pink heels and they kind of remind me they've got are these mules? I think they're mules. Mule sandals, but they have a strap around them. And what I particularly love about these heels is actually the heel itself. It's kind of got this contorted shape. That is it for my haul, my accessories haul. Thank you guys so much for watching. Um, if you want to follow me on Instagram, you can do so at Amy Vagabond with two Ds, but you don't have to. And be sure to keep your eyes peeled for part two, which is the clothing haul of all the clothes I have over there. And I will see you guys next time. Bye.